Hi guys, so today I'm just going to be quickly showing you guys my In A Rush Glam Makeup. So this is basically the makeup routine that I've been doing when I know I have to put on a full face of makeup, but I don't have that much time. I'm not going to lie, you can't really do a full glam look in like 5 to 10 minutes, but there are certain things you can do to speed up the process. And I'm just going to show you today what I do to speed up my glam makeup process. So yeah, let's just go ahead and get started. So this is going to be a talk through just because... Um, I didn't want to do a voiceover for this, but this is not going to be a chit chat. So there's a difference between those two videos. A lot of people get confused. A chit chat is different from a talk through. Talk through, I'm just basically walking you through what I'm doing. So first, I'm just going to be taking this Cover FX primer. Okay, now for foundation, I'm just going to take my Makeup Forever Ultra HD foundation. And when I'm in a rush, I always like to take a foundation that has a pump because I don't have time to mix different colors or shake something onto my finger and I feel like when I have something with a pump it's just so much quicker just because I just pump it onto my face and then I'm you know good to go and this color is on the red undertone side which is kind of annoying but I felt like the one that was a yellow undertone um it didn't oxidize until my skin is good so I just prefer how this one oxidizes and it like mixes better with the concealer that I use so okay now for concealer I'm just going to take my Maybelline Fit Me concealer and this is in the color Cafe 30. Okay, so now as you can already see that it looks even more blended. So concealer makes the world of a difference. So in my experience, I just always realized that even if my foundation doesn't always matches my skin like to a T, my concealer usually like blends everything together and it just oxidizes better. So don't be scared if your foundation is not like the exact same color as your skin because sometimes I've used foundations that match my skin a little bit better and then they oxidize and I feel like I look too light like in pictures and stuff. So I will rather use a darker foundation and lighten it up with concealer. Uh, so now I'm just gonna do a little bit more highlighting underneath my eyes and I'm just gonna be using this Sephora concealer that I've recently been using and I really, really like it. And this is the Bright Future Gel Serum Concealer and this is in the color 13 Caramel. So I just like to um, just dot this under my eyes. I don't put this anywhere else. I mean, I do sometimes, but lately I've just been dotting it under my eyes just because I feel like um, everywhere else looks fine and I don't need any extra highlighting. So I've just been um, liking just underneath my eyes with this one. Okay, so when I am in a rush, when I'm doing my makeup and I'm doing a full face look, I don't bake because baking just takes a little bit extra time. And I usually only bake when I'm doing like eyeshadows that I know I'm going to have fallout or if I if I feel like baking. But when I'm in a rush, I don't have time to bake. So I just use my pressed translucent powder. And this is the NARS translucent light reflecting setting powder. And I've been using this forever and ever. You guys know this. Actually, this is the very first one I ever bought and I still have it. And then of course I'm just going to set the rest of my face with powder and I'm just going to use my Makeup Forever Dual Matte Powder. I know people are probably tired of me using this powder at this point, but if I like something I'm going to keep using it. So since I'm in a rush when I'm doing this routine, I usually never use eyeshadow. I always just take 
my bronzer and I put it on like I usually would first obviously and then I go in and use it as an eyeshadow and I just like dust it all over my crease and my lid with a blending brush. So first of course I'm just going to use it like I normally would just to bronze up my face a little bit. And by the way this is a new bronzer brush that I've been using from Sephora and this is the Pro Flawless Light Powder brush number 50. And then I just take a like blending brush kind of like this and this one is just from e.l.f. It doesn't have a name. It's just like a blending brush. I feel like you can use it on the crease or on the lid. So that's why I use this for the purpose that I'm using it now. So I basically just sloppily go in my crease all over my lid because I feel like when you're in a rush you don't have time to be grabbing like three to four different eyeshadows. So I just basically slap this one on my lid and into my crease and it just gives the illusion that I tried. <laughs> Of course I drag it along my lash line as well just so that you know everything looks nice and even and symmetrical and now whatever highlight I use I do the exact same thing I apply it like I usually would to my cheek bone and then I use it as an inner tear duct highlight so I don't have to grab another eyeshadow and by the way this is a new highlighter that I've been using and this is from the Balm, and this is the Betty Luminizer, the Bronzing Bandit. So this is basically the darker version of the original one. And I really, really like it. I feel like it really suits my skin tone really nicely because um, it has a really nice bronzy gold look. And then I'm just going to highlight my inner tear duct. And then I'm just going to quickly apply some eyeliner. Now when you're in a rush and you're using eyeliner, I recommend using a retractable eyeliner. Just because if you're in a rush, you're probably not going to have time to sharpen anything. So just try to use a retractable eyeliner. And I'm just using um, my Anastasia Beverly Hills eyeliner in the color Dark Side. But if you're looking for like a drugstore version of this, CoverGirl has a really good retractable um, eyeliner that I really like as well. Now I am going to apply some lashes and sometimes when I'm in a rush I don't have time to apply lashes so I just pack on a crap ton of mascara but I am going to put some lashes on today. And I'm just going to be applying some old Ardell lashes that I had sitting on my vanity and these are the number 113. Also if you're going to apply lashes and you're in a rush to save time you can just do other things that you would do after you apply your lashes. Like you can go ahead and apply your bottom mascara which I usually do do. And sometimes I like to track my upper lash to make them look thicker when I'm not using liquid liner. That's another thing. If you're in a rush, you should probably skip liquid liner just because it takes a little bit longer just because you have to be more precise with it. So I just take an angle brush like this and just take like the tip of my um, eyeliner and then just basically track my eyelash just because it makes my lashes look thicker when I'm not applying eyeliner up here and I usually always do this trick when I'm not applying upper liner and you can even do like a wing if you want to so this is also a really good trick if you're like a beginner and you still don't know how to do a wing liner just take an angle brush like this and use a like tip of a cold pencil and then go at an angle like that so it just gives you a softer effect of what the liquid liner gives you Okay, now I'm just going to go ahead and apply my bottom mascara while my lash glue is still getting tacky. So usually for my other lash and while I'm letting that dry, if I'm in a rush, I'll usually just go ahead and put on my lip. So that way I'll have my lip out of the way by the time this lash is ready to be put on. 
So for my lips, it usually varies. I use different things. I use liquid lipstick, gloss, um, or just sometimes I'll use a lip pencil. But today I'm just going to be using my lip pencil in the color Chestnut by MAC. And I'm just going to be using a liquid lipstick from Tarte. And this is in the color Crop Top. So, so I'm just going to go ahead and apply that. Okay, so now that I got my lashes on, now I'm just going to finish applying my mascara to my top lashes. So okay, this is the finished look. Super, super quick, super easy to me anyway, and I feel like it doesn't take a ton of time because usually when I'm doing full glam, it takes me about an hour to get ready, I'm not gonna lie. But this took about half the time, so it took me about 30 minutes to do this. So it's perfect if you're in a rush and you don't have a whole hour to get ready if you're about to go somewhere and you need to, you know, be beat. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see y'all next time.